Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Blue Programmer. How are you all? Hope you are doing well and doing well. So in this video, we are going to understand functional components in React.js. So let's get started. In our third video, in our third video of this playlist, we are going to understand what are components in React.js. And in this video, I'm going to teach you what are functional components in React.js. So let's get started. So I will create a empty component here. So R F C G. Yeah, that's it. And I don't need this now after React 17, I think. So you can use that, but it's not needed. Now that's a functional component. So let's understand the code line by line. So first we are creating a function with the file name which is my fc. You can if you have a file called home, you can use uh, you need to use uh, you need to create a function called home. Make sure you create the function uh, same same to the name of the file. That's quite important. After that, inside the function there is a footer that's written in an empty div. So that create a function of return. Then let's use the address synthetical sugar format. Let's create an h1. First we need to make this to JavaScript React. Okay. So h1 hello from functional component. Functional component. And now let's save and let's run the app.js. Let's use my functional component here. This is how we are import we are just calling the component. We are first importing the component from the file and then we are creating an uh, self-closing tag with the name of the component. Uh, let's run the server first. So npm start. Npm start till the server starts. So till the server starts, let's see the functional component. Yeah. So we have created a simple function. Yeah, we have created a simple function, and now we are exporting it. Exporting the function as default called my fc. So this is basically exporting the function called my fc as a default function. So if we import it as default, we don't need to use. It has been imported. If you need to do like this, so it means that the function has been exported like. Uh, with a curly brace and inside the it has not been exported as default so if you have not exported the function default you need to use import the function like this and it should work let's save and as you can see hello from functional component and let's use default for now sometimes we don't use the default one because there are lots of functions in a single uh, file so we export it as a function simple function because we can't export many functions as a default function so let's create one more function called fun function fun and we can do like this let's return same and now if we export it as default the code runs properly. There is an error because we have quoted it using curly braces. So let's redo that. And now if I save, there is not a single error. It's working fine. But if I want to access this pump, this function called fun, so how can I access this? So at this point, you need to export your functions like this. Export. Fun. This will work. So that's how you can use multiple functions here in a single module. A single file is called as a module. So we have learned now how to create a function, how to export a function, how to import a function, and how to use the function in another file. So now uh, there is one more thing here that you can also use modern JavaScript. You can use constant pattern function like this. Const my fc equals to a function. 
you can do like this as well this is a parallel function I say this is a once and as I export the read let me remove the export from here Let's, yeah, now it works so how this is how your function works in react.js if you like this video please like share subscribe to my channel and do hit the bell icon as well don't forget to join the discord server